I wonder if I can rotate this triangle 90 degrees counterclockwise without a graph. In this lesson, you will learn how to graph an image after a rotation by using coordinates. In a rotation, size, shape, and orientation stay the same, but position changes. Let's review the quadrants of the coordinate plane. In quadrant 1, x and y values are both positive. In quadrant 2, x values are negative, y values are positive. In quadrant 3, x and y values are both negative. In quadrant 4, x values are positive, y values are negative. We're going to use this information as we look at a 90 degree counterclockwise rotation from quadrant 1, where both x and y values are positive, into quadrant 2, where x values will be negative and y values will be positive. What else is happening? The figure and its image aren't symmetrical like a reflection. Let's take a closer look at the coordinates. A is 2, 1. A prime is negative 1, 2. See if you can find a pattern. The x and y values definitely change places. Do you see anything else? B is 4, 1. B prime is negative 1, 4. C is 2, 4, and C prime is negative 4, 2. The x is now the negative of what the y was of the original figure. Will this always happen? We can come up with a hypothesis that after a rotation of 90 degrees, the xy coordinate will be negative yx. Let's do some more 90 degree rotations to see if this holds. Our original figure is quadrant 2 and is comprised of negative x and positive y values. The image in quadrant 3 will need to be comprised of negative x and negative y values. Look at the coordinates of the image and the pre-image. Do you see a pattern? You probably notice that the x and y switch position and what used to be the y value changed signs. Take a second and confirm that the pattern by comparing the coordinates. Our hypothesis is holding. Let's look at another rotation from quadrant 3 to quadrant 4. In quadrant 3, x and y values are negative, and in quadrant 4, x values are positive, y values are negative. Look at the coordinates of the image and the pre-image. Do you see the pattern? You probably notice x and y switch position and what used to be y change signs. If you take a second and confirm that pattern by comparing the coordinates, you will see that what we've shown as our hypothesis has worked for three cases. It's not a formal proof, but it gives us a very strong indication that this is true. Note, this works for counterclockwise rotations. I'll leave it to you to investigate clockwise rotations. Can we then now come up with the coordinates without a graph? If A is 1, 1, A prime will be negative 1, 1. B is 3, 1, B prime will be negative 1, 3. C is 1, 4, C prime will be negative 4, 1. Checking our work on a graph, we'll plot each of the points, connect them, and we see that figure A prime is the image of figure A after a 90 degree counterclockwise rotation. Let's look at a 180 degree counterclockwise rotation. I'm going to be quiet for a minute and let you look and see, do you see a pattern? X and Y values have both become negative. This leads us to the hypothesis that after a rotation of 180 degrees, XY becomes negative X, negative Y. You should verify this hypothesis by doing several more similar experiments. Let's look at a 270 degree counterclockwise rotation. And I'm going to let you look for the pattern. What happened? The x and y values changed places, and we know 
that the y values are negative because quadrant 4 has positive x and ne negative y values. This leads us to the hypothesis that after a 270 degree rotation, the x and y change places and y will be negative. You can and should verify this hypothesis as well to see if the patterns hold. In this lesson, you have learned how to graph an image after a rotation by using coordinates.